Today I'm going to show you how to make pupusas. What a pupusa is, is an El Salvadoran tortilla that's stuffed with either cheese, beans, meat, it doesn't matter. It could be all of the above. The main difference between an El Salvadoran tortilla and a Mexican tortilla is the size of it. A Mexican tortilla you find all, all over North America. It's a very thin tortilla used mostly for wrapping tacos or fajitas. Where the El Salvadoran tortillas you usually don't find in North America unless you're at a specialty store. And even then, sometimes they're kept in the freezer. They're not fresh. So they're kind of hard to come by. They're almost always made out of corn, where the North American uh, Mexican style tortilla is almost always made out of flour. Most gringos don't go for the, uh, the corn variety, which is more authentic and better in my opinion. But for pupusas, today what I'm going to make is pupusa revueltas, which is a pupusa with mixed, I guess it's like mixed meats, so to speak, mixed ingredients. Um, right here I have my harina, which is my dough, my masa. Over here, I pre-cooked pork, green peppers, tomatoes, onion, garlic, and some salt. Once it was cooked down, I actually blended it up so it's in the paste that you see here. Um, this is uh, puerco y chili verde, cebolla, tomate y ajo, the uh, tambien salt. Over here, I have black beans, cheese, and cebolla, or onion. So cebolla frío y negros y queso. Uh, aceite y agua oil and water and to get this going what I'm going to do is take some dough place it in my hand it should be about I guess depending on the size of your hand it's going to seem more or less but this is probably actually I got a scale right here we'll see how much this is it is 3.75 ounce is what I have in my hand right now so depending on how this one turns out, you might want to add a little bit more, a little less. So I'm going to take water, get my hands really wet, and then I'm going to start pushing this down. As I push, I'm going to turn, push, turn, push, do it like this. Um, I'm, I find that easier where I see when a Hispanic does it, who does it all the time, they do like a, a slapping motion. I can do that, but I tend to break the corners more more often than not. And so now I just pretty much drop it, it sticks to me too much. Which means I need more water. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick to doing it my way, which is just to simply push down on it. And then what I'm trying to do is make almost like a catcher's mitt, a little glove here. It's gonna hold all the goodies for me. Notice how I'm not using a tortilla press. I've never seen a Hispanic person, at least a Hispanic country born person, use a tortilla press. It's always the gringos or people up here. I mean, maybe I'm wrong on that, but I've never seen it before. Anyways, make a pocket with, with the dough. You can see the way the dough is. I'm going to go ahead and take pork, put it in the middle here. It's a decent amount, I guess, more than you'd think. And then, uh, the cheese, also more than you would think. The idea is to have a nice dough to meat and just fillings uh, ratio. If you don't have enough, it gets really doughy and it's just not so good. So I'm gonna push down and try to curl this up to form a ball and enclosed, enclose all the stuff inside. So if you look, I actually have, right now I have one solid ball. Now, time to get messy. Get my hands on the oil. I'm gonna rub this down really good and actually you want to use a good bit of oil more than you would think because it helps with cooking also. So once my hands are all gooped up and my ball is all oiled up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Another reason why I dislike doing the the slap, because you have to do it pretty hard to get it to squish out. When you have a lot of oil, it sprays out on the wall and your shirt and everything else. Plus, it takes me too long. So I'm going to go back to my style, the uh, gringo style. I'm just going to push down and try to spread it out evenly. Again, I want a nice thin pupusa because it gives me a really good meat to masa ratio, like carnita masa. 
In other words, meet the dough ratio. And the edges will kind of break on you a little bit. That's all right. I've gotten them at the restaurants where they like that. Whether it's an experience or just the way it goes, whatever. As long as it tastes good. So now this is fairly pushed out. You want it as even as you can throughout so it has a nice even cooking surface. Um, I might patch up these edges a little bit for my inexperience here. I'm actually going to take some more oil because there's no oil in the dough so this is basically all the cooking fat I'm using and rub it down. Now I'm going to throw it right on the uh, my griddle that I have going. Basically I'm pushing down the middle a little bit to, to help make it so it's a little flatter. I'm going to turn the camera so you can see what, what that's like. So there it is, right there. I'm going to cook this probably two to three minutes one side and then flip it and then do the other side. Um, I'm just looking for a nice golden crust on it. And then once it's done, put it on a plate, serve it with some ensalada. Basically it's like um, coleslaw in a sense, but it's very vinegary. It's very good stuff. And then some uh, hot sauce, like uh, salsa de tomate, salsa de rojo. Just your standard red tomato hot sauce. So hopefully you guys give this a try on how to make it. For uh, the rest of the recipes, I have the, the meat and the bean recipe as with the, the dough recipe on handsonkitchen.com. Um, as with pictures throughout the different steps of preparing it. And many, many more recipes. So give it a shot. Hand, handsonkitchen.com.